Okay, this story is coming out of South Carolina. What you're going to hear and see is going to be a very emotional press conference with the family of little Zion. This one-year-old little boy died during his very first day of daycare. <laughs> Little Zion was nervous and his family wasn't sure if he would be able to spend the entire day away from his mom or expected that they would never see him again. His mom, extremely emotional and clutching a little photo of Zion, says he was my everything. He was my everything. I don't know how I'm going to make it after this. But still, the details around his death remain very unclear. But his mother is placing some of the blame on the daycare center for failing to even try and perform CPR. When Zion suffered a medical emergency, he choked on a goldfish cracker. The family says that the daycare center has not contacted them at all since his death, and they're demanding answers as to what happened. Little Zion's Aunt Felicia, she said, why? Why? Why wasn't CPR going on during this? Why? And instead of a staff member providing CPR, it was actually a parent of another child that jumped in that was dropping off their own child at this daycare. And this parent tried to perform CPR and revive this baby while they were waiting on the ambulance. When paramedics showed up, well, Zion was not breathing. He was rushed to the hospital and there he was pronounced dead. The coroner's office said that they are going to perform an autopsy to actually determine his cause of death. But it is known that he did choke while eating a goldfish cracker. The South Carolina Department of Social Services is working with the law enforcement to investigate the circumstances surrounding his case. Now we all know that the little goldfish crackers is one of the little snacks that we give to our toddlers. And we're all guilty of that. But here's the thing. A one-year-old, most of the time, only has a few teeth cut, right? They don't have a whole mouthful of teeth. We also know that the goldfish crackers are a bit hard, really. They are. So if the child just puts it in his mouth and doesn't have the adequate teeth to chew the cracker in the back, and he just tries to swallow it whole, they're a very big choking hazard. For this little boy to have been in a room right beside his mother, she worked there as well. So she was in the room right next to little Zion when he got choked on this cry and was passed off from worker to worker as he choked and, and couldn't breathe. But instead of performing CPR or rushing him to his mother, just fade away, they passed him around to each other. By the time he was actually taken to his mother's room and handed his little lifeless body to her. His lips were blue and he was deceased. There's no excuse for this, y'all. There is just not one. And just like it said, and I completely agree, 
just because the staff is shorthanded and many places are right now should be no excuse for hiring and putting to work unqualified people to care for these children. That would never happen in a nursing home. That would never happen in a hospital. It's not even going to happen in a prison. They have to have special training. Why would it be any different for a daycare? Just because you're shorthanded is no excuse. Number one. Number two. Why didn't you bring this child feet away to the next door and hand him to his mother before he was deceased? This is disgusting, y'all. There is no excuse for what happened to this baby. And I stand firmly with this family in getting little Zion justice. Sadly, this is not an isolated incident. I wish Goldfish Crackers or even Cheez-Its would not be just given as random snacks by teachers, daycares, anyone beside the parent, just to be honest. They are choking hazards. Doing a little Google research, I did find out that there was also a child that had choked on one of these crackers. Thank God. He did survive. Well, in my research, I found where there are several that has passed away from just one cracker. All the way back till 2014, I was seeing things about children passing away from choking on goldfish crackers. So please, spread the word. It's not a great thing for toddlers. It's not just an easy little snack to give them. Please, if they're under four, just don't. It's better to be on the safe side. And until next time, this is Unjustified.